John, uh, disappointment again um, this afternoon. Who'd have thought at uh, two nil up in six minutes it was going to be two uh, two, and eventually the Poppers would lose a game in a game really they should have won. Mm. Yes, disappointing. Um, you know, when the second one went in, I think it was after about eight minutes or so, wasn't it? Eight, nine minutes. The second I sang goal, goal six. Six minutes. Yeah. You know. And I, uh, I, I said the gaffer then, we need to go for the jugular here, we need to go for a third one and kill the game off, just kill the game dead this early in the game, but you know they clawed their way back into it and with the quality of the player that they're employing, you would expect them you know, to make a, to make a match of it, which they did, um, and then they got a very soft winner halfway through the second half. That must be heartbreaking to set piece like that for it to go <clears> in the way it did, I mean you practice these things quite a lot don't you, and to see that go in it was criminal. Yeah, we do, Paul, we do, and I think all three goals were, were poor today, poor goals to concede as a team, uh, you know, uh, 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 there were poor goals to concede. Um, on the positive side, you know, I had to go at them, as you know, on Tuesday night at Hereford about the work rate and about their effort. Um, I think, you know, today I thought the, the, the work rate and their effort was, was tremendous, and we had a 2-0, we had two good chances to to really bury the game, Jerry, when he went through. Well, Jewhurst made an incredible save, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, if that he had did. gone in, yeah, yeah. three 0 Yeah, and then uh, Jerry, when he that was a save from Jerry, wasn't he? When he yeah. cut in, um, you know, and I, I thought, uh, you know, if they, if they'd gone in, it would have been a totally different game. But ah, um, uh, well, still a V, as they say. Where do we go from here? I mean, I've spoken with Paul um, quite a bit in the recent weeks, you know, uh, especially on Thursday as well. You know, mm. where where do we go now? Because um, things did improve. You can see it's a better performance than it was against Hereford and Gloucester. But we've come away with a defeat. We've they've had three shots at goal and scored, mm. and we haven't been able to punish the mistakes that Boston made um, to create a win. Yeah, and uh, you know that's that's more or less been the the story of the season, hasn't it? You know, I mean, uh, I, I, I remember three times today their goalkeepers dropped the ball inside the six yard box and we've not got onto it um, which is disappointing uh, you know when we do that we get punished uh, you know go back to Chorley you know when uh, Reese, Reese unfortunately made the same sort of mistake and they punished us and for some reason we're just not punishing teams um, when they make those mistakes we have to work hard for every goal we score I know we use the word mindset and um, <coughs> the psychology of, of people's approach to games, but it, it does seem to be that we get into a bit of a rut and we can't break out of it. And we're in that at the moment, three games now we've lost in succession. Even with the proverbial kick up the derriere that you gave them on sort of Tuesday, you know, which they did respond to today, there's no mm. doubt about it, it was a better performance. But uh, how do you see going forward, other than bringing in new players, if we can, mm. um, to be the, the, the way forward for the club? Because we're not getting anywhere with, with <coughs> what we've got. We're not, but, um, you know, it, it's, it's who's available at this stage in the, in, in the season, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, you know, these players, these players were good enough mm. five weeks ago when we were winning football matches, and, and you just don't suddenly become bad players, you know. Five weeks ago, everybody was like, talking about what an exciting young side we are, um, and you know one of the things I know I I, I, I realised from throughout my career is that when you're working with young players, you expect highs and lows, um, and we're going through a little bit of a low spell at the moment. Um, uh, but I, I think by working hard, by working for each other, we'll come through this. We'll come through this together. On a positive note, young Crawford did well, didn't he, today? He got, got his goal that he richly deserved. He was all over the place and uh, probably justifiably holds his place. Very very good, very good. I mean, Jordan has always given us energy, even when he's gone on as a sub. Um, he's given us energy when he's gone on there, and I think his performances today, uh, his performance against Hereford on Tuesday night, you know, just, just illustrated what he's all about. You know, high energy, high octane performance, never lets defenders settle. Um, and took, uh, you know thoroughly deserved his goal. I thought today took it really well, um, and, and I think there's more. I think there's more to come from. He had a chance also to make it three, didn't he? When there was right at the near post, and somehow the goalkeeper blocked it. Yeah. If, again, if that had gone in, that yeah. would have uh, yeah. made a, a three niller. Yeah, would. Well, you know, but, you know so. and, uh, but I suppose Boston would say that's what they pay the goalkeeper yeah. for is to do that. Definitely. You know, but the fact is that you know Jordan was there and he he he, he was on the end of it. Um, and you know, on the on the end of the cross into the box or the pass into the box, and I, you know, on another day that's going to be a goal. It's just that unfortunately today it, it wasn't. But but you know, like I say, if if he keeps working hard and keeps showing the the the, the high energy performance that he's that he's put, produced today, then I think you know the boys only going to get better and, and score more goals. 
Well, we have a week off now to uh, mull over this one. No doubt you're going to be Tuesday and Thursday training um, to work on the aspects of the game. We've got Telford uh, away next Saturday, which will be an interesting one, as they came in for uh, the gaffer uh, a little while ago. Yeah. And they are bottom of the league. Um, again, it's going to be a tough fixture, <coughs> but uh, something to fight on. It is. I mean, you know, Telford, let's not, I, I think they're in a false position. You look at their team, you know, the individuals within their team, and they've got good players. Again, they're another club with good players. Um, and, you know, the gaffer and I know what their sort of what their budget is and 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 you know with the money they're spending you expect to have them to have good players so it's going to be a difficult game but you know i think if we can go there and 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 produce the positives that we've produced today and 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 uh do you know get away with the negatives so do away with the negatives then you know we've got a chance of picking up some points there without a doubt Okay, John, thank you very much for that. Um, disappointed like uh, we all are, yeah. um, unfortunately, but uh, I'm sure we'll fight back and uh, get back to winning ways. Well, and, we'll, uh, we'll certainly be... We never stop trying, Paul, you no, know that. That's true. And we never stop working hard. Um, and, and hopefully, you know, if you believe in karma, then if you work hard, there should be a reward at the end of it, and I'm sure it will come eventually. So. Okay, John, thank you very much. Thanks, Paul. Marvellous. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.